hey you guys this is Oshie and this is my monthly recap uh, video that this happened <laughs> one for uh, June because it's already July which is again I I know I start every video like this with the same what the fuck where is time but yeah, yeah another month has uh, passed and I'm cheating in a way oops uh, I'm, I'm kind of checking my planner to see what happened because besides the um big two big things the uh, university um entry interview i don't even know how to call it in english uh that i had to do and the library camp uh, there's not a lot that comes to mind um so you know i'm cheating um but uh yeah, I, I will try to be organized uh, over uh, like about my thoughts, uh, but <laughs> you know me, I like to talk and I don't really like to get prepared uh, for a video because why not? Um, honestly, not a lot has happened terror related or YouTube channel related that I can report. Uh, I can't remember if I got the housewives tarot and the crystal what is it called? I don't know, I put it somewhere. There's a crystal one, but I can't remember if it was already in May or, you know, it, if it arrived in June. I know that I have two unscheduled video about them on my channel, uploaded for almost two weeks now, but for some reason, and I, I can't give you a legitimate uh, or a valid reason why I haven't scheduled them, but I haven't scheduled them. Another one that I... Uh, couldn't keep up with yet is the second season of the house of the dragon because it started before the library camp week uh, i think at the 24th of May, uh, june uh, and i just i couldn't watch it before uh, that one because i was busy during the weekend and then during the the week of the camp it was impossible i was just that tired and that exhaustion uh, carried over to this week when I'm still on holiday. I took two weeks off. Obviously, I worked during the first one <laughs> and now I'm trying to recover from um, not just last week, uh, more so the first six months of the year and it's not really going well. And I mean, what I mean by that is that I, I had plans. Then I cut back um, because those plans were many and plenty and <laughs> there was no time so i was like okay you know i'm gonna do just three things i did one which was the mandatory the work related part i want to reply to a, uh, an actual letter because um i still have a pen pal and i really like you know sending letters even if the post office loses them all the time I still haven't gotten around doing that, but I inked my fountain pen, so that's the first step. <laughs> and the other big thing that I want to still do when I have like three days left, and I'm going to be busy tomorrow, so during the weekend, is going through the first chapter of my book and just, you know, just put it in a form that I can start sending it out because there's no point delaying it. Obviously, it needs editing, um, but I have to hope that what I can show with that first chapter or, you know, whatever, whichever chapter they ask for, uh, if they are interested, as in a publishing, publisher or whatever, um, they're gonna give me a chance, uh, but it's not gonna happen if I don't start sending it out. So, you know, I have a deadline and this week is the deadline for that. Uh, I don't know <clears throat> what I'm gonna do because I don't remember that when we did, when I did the course for uh, creative writing, we were advised to seek out an agent first and then you know things go from there. So I want to look around to see if that's still true. If if because you know. The advice was that if you directly approach publishing houses, they're not going to really take you as seriously as obviously if you uh, look them up through an agent. But I don't know how you can find agents because <laughs> how one does that. But 
I'm looking for, I, I think, um, obviously I'm going to send it to the big ones because, you know, why not? But uh, more so look up maybe smaller publishing houses who are specialized, uh, specialized, that's, is that word? Not how you pronounce it for sure. In sci-fi, because maybe there is a bigger chance for that. I don't know. We will see. But the main point is to get over myself, to sit down, open Scrivener and just edit the first chapter in a, in a, in a, into a shape that I can set it out. And, you know, and then I'm going to do the research of um, where to send it out next week, I think. And then at the end of next week, I'm going to, I'm just going to get over myself and start sending it out. Obviously, I'm prepared for um, rejection. I think I'm less prepared for actually someone getting interested in publishing my story, which is kind of ridiculous, I know, but uh, this is how it is. You know, it's... Not being accepted and uh, not having something happen for me is a place that I'm familiar with. You know, I, I, I live there. I know how that feels. But when things go really well, <laughs> that's unfamiliar. I don't know how that, you know, feels. And that's scary. So obviously, um, you know, everybody moves through... Uh, towards the least resistant and least resisting place is not doing anything but I can do that if I want some positive change in my life especially because um mm, I think I've finished everything terribly yes uh I think um or maybe not I'm gonna just jump around so yeah, I cut my train of th uh, train of thoughts, a train of thoughts off. So whatever, another deck related thing, and then I go back to the um, university and stuff. I still have the Peter Morbacher has uh, the second um, oracle coming out. The uh, emanation, no, what is it called? Oh Jesus Christ! The the angel, you know, the angel deck, which is, <laughs> I never know the, the correct title. And it's behind my, behind me somewhere. And I'm not going to be able to find it. So I have to think through while you're watching me suffer. Emanation of, no, whatever, you know, the Angelarium deck. Exactly. That was the word that I was looking for. Uh, the, the second oracle is coming, but there was a delay with the um, European warehouse. If I remember correctly, uh, because, you know, he sends out uh, regular updates. There was already some delay with the European shipping because while for Ocean Oceania, why do I keep picking words that I can't pronounce? Uh, for Asia and stuff like that, it was like 11 days and for Europe, it was three weeks. But then some of the shipment, and I think that was the European one, was sent back to the US because it wasn't handled correctly. So there's a huge delay there. But to be, to be honest, he can't help it. It's not his fault. He did everything he could. He did the deck. He ordered it. He thought that he found a good uh, distribution system. It wasn't working like that. But because of that, uh, obviously, I still don't have the deck, which honestly, if there is something that I know I want in a hmm, in a in a, in a really like a cellular level, I know these are big words, but there are things that I just know I want. I'm very patient uh, about it. I, most of the time, I'm impatient, but that that impatience comes from fear of not happening. You know, like if something is not happening, then I'm worried about it. That's why I'm impatient, but. With this deck, I know it's going to be here someday and I know I'm going to love the artwork. I'm really hoping and I haven't checked anything because I love surprises when I know that I'm getting something. Uh, that the Zodiac cards are in it so I can have the Aquarius uh, image big in a bigger resolution. Uh, because I love that one. Because I have the tiny playing cards uh, version that he sells. So I'm hoping that it's there. Um, even though I don't really do readings uh, that much anymore. But still, I do read for myself still. I'm, I do readings more often, actually. 
than I did in the past couple of months. I still do the, the, the weekly um, and then I turn the weekly ones into like spreads like this one uh, because I bought, uh, you know, those black and white um, thermal printing things. Um, so it's, you know, it's cheap. It's, it's, it's not the best uh, resolution, but you can still see the artwork of the image. And I have some stickers and washi tape, so I, I pretty much do um, just uh, a collage for from the the the, the, the you know like the, the weekly things, uh, which I really like uh, doing. Sometimes I forget because sometimes all you do is just write down the the cards. <laughs> <laughs> because you had no this was the week of the library camp okay that's why um and then the next week was which is the, this week this is already july i kind of didn't like you know it's not my, not 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 big enough for me i like these spreads when i i can feel at least you know like the bigger part of the the planner up and this is how I use the planner. <laughs> I don't really make a lot of notes, um, but I, I'm consistent with uh, the weekly ones and the daily ones. Uh, and I make a note about each card um, because I want to do what I did last year, which I think was really interesting and insightful uh, as well, is that I'm going to add up all the cards that are coming from i think i'm gonna just do the daily draws this time because i was making notes on bigger readings um last year but i'm gonna do the dailies separately to see which card was the one that i most frequently draw and when i look back uh, on my previous year all the six or seven cards that were very much in the top were like um engulfing the whole year it, like it, it wrapped up in a like with a tiny little pretty bow uh, as a package like here this was your year so i'm quite curious if it's gonna happen and i i have a feeling yes and i, I want to know what energy it was the main energy uh during the the uh the year so i'm gonna you know obviously i'm doing still doing the daily ones sometimes i forget honestly Sometimes I just look at the days and I'm like, I didn't didn't pull a car yesterday and I, I'm convinced that I didn't and then turns out I didn't. But uh, th those are the two types of readings that I regularly do for myself. I've wanted to do maybe, you know, like readings on Instagram, but I just don't for other people, but I, I just things add up and I'm still not in a place where I have some sense of stability and security in an area of my life that I can just be like, okay, this is this is secure, this is stable. I can like catch my breath. I still feel like I'm just trying to catch up with things. Uh, it's getting better, but at the same time, it's still like, what the fuck, most of the time. But I guess that's my year. So, you know, we will see uh, how it's going to change because if I'm accepted into university, it's just going to get worse because I will have classes to attend and do my full time job. And, <laughs> and then I will have exams in December. So <laughs> it's going to be fun. But and I'm going to spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> so, yeah, looking forward to um, doing stuff that I chose for myself, at least. Uh, so yes, the entrance uh, interview, like we had the, so I'm doing the, I'm hoping to do the master's degree, uh, a master's program, whatever it's called. And to get accept, accepted, uh, we had to write a motivational letter and then there was an interview and that was all, uh, which you could say, well, oh, that's easy, but... Uh, Honestly, I hated not knowing what to expect, you know, like I couldn't really prepare for it. Uh, there was some information on the website that they're going to be looking for comments or information um, so that they could see how well prepared, how well versed are you 
in the area, which I'm not. <laughs> I just work in a library, you know. <laughs> I'm not very aware of uh, politics and all that shit. I mean, I'm much more now because I had to read uh, articles and stuff like that. Um, but for some reason, and it's good that I had that insight, even though it scared me the shit a day before the interview, which was the first day of the library camp, because the two was, you know, they, they coincidentally collided. So we started with the library camp on the 24th and it was on the 25th, the interview. So I didn't go, go. Ooh, that was interesting. I didn't do the library camp that day. And on the, at 6 a.m. on Monday morning, I checked the website because, you know, I reread the email sent by university and that was something that was like, check the, you know, like what's expected of you at the interview. And I was like, okay, let's check it. But I was like, I already know because I checked it when I was filling out the forms and when I was applying. And of course, it, they changed it and they couldn't send an email about it. So, and there, uh, there was some information that you have to present uh, the area that you want to research. And it has to be, you know, like specific and connected to library studies and whatever. And I was like, I have like a few hours after spending the day with 22 kids and coming home exhausted to come up with something that I want to research. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? So I was like, I'm not going to be able to present this in a form that makes sense after only like a few hours of checking what's already been researched and whatever. Um, not to mention that I had to come up with an area. Even though that was easy because uh, my motivational letter was all about, you know, like children and I am interested in the the changes of um, how children's reading habits is are going to change because of uh, that's what I said. And I pretty much think that that's what I'm going to research if I get accepted into university is how their uh, reading uh, habits will change thanks to AI, because it's going to change a lot, you know. And there are some positive uh, things that can come out of, uh, like a very specific tailored recommendation, because if AI can pull data from, not just from what you read, you know, like I can get access to all your uh, data in the library, but if it checks your social media, and let's be honest, it's gonna happen. I don't have, I'm not that naive to think that we can get away from getting vetted by AI thoroughly, we feel not already. Even if I always opt out for personalized uh, advertisement and stuff like that, because I want to see more than what I'm just interested in, because how can your interest uh, broaden and how can you like get interested in something new if you never get exposed to it so I don't think that's good there's some you know some side is good on the other hand it's not good but I think it's an interesting thing to research uh, especially with children because with you know with adults at least uh, my generation I think like 40s and even 30s we are too sad in many of our ways already. Even if it, things are gonna change, we're gonna be like, oh, books and stuff like that. But children who are gonna grow up with technology integrated into their lives as much as they are already, and even more so in the future, I think it's gonna be an interesting thing to study. But we will see, I still have to be accepted, even though um, they, because uh, the interview, interview was like, I went in, they asked questions uh, based on my motivational letter, which I was hoping that's going to happen. So I thought about uh, the library camp because obviously I had to mention that we're doing the library camp on that day and on that week, because obviously you want something like that to be asked about. And Harry Potter Club and uh, the, um, the book club that I'm doing, so stuff like that, they asked about it. And then they asked me about if I 
were ever interested in researching because, uh, you know, they could see that I majored in Korean, uh, the Korean reading um, habits. And I was like, <laughs> in my head, I was like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do anything in that area. Thank you very much. But I was like, oh, no, I'm because, you know, I'm not exposed to that. Uh, um, how do you say that, that properly? Uh, the people that our companies work with, they are not the type of people who have time to read. Let's just be diplomatic and honest about it. They are here, they are physical laborers, most of them, or at least they just work. So I don't think they read a lot. And maybe you can think that I'm judging them, but I am. I have some data that I'm pulling this information from. But, you know, I'm not interested in, I'm sorry, I just don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm much more interested in uh, children and how they are going to change because I don't have children. I don't think I will have. It's, I think it's just too late for that. But I I have my nephew and I have the kids who attend to Harry Potter Club. And it's it's very interesting. And I, I do believe it's, it's a cliche and it's just whatever that children are the future. But they are really. So shaping their thoughts <laughs> into not into say, like a specific mode, but into a way that allows them to think for themselves. I think it's very, very interesting, uh, not just interesting, important. So, you know, I chose that area all day, every day over adults in Korea. I can't I read whatever, awesome, I just don't care. Um, not because they're Korean, I just don't care about the adults in that way. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the, Mm -mm -mm. I'm just checking my planner. That was the week. Uh, it was exhausting. It was very interesting because I was used to, because it was, I think, the third year that I did the library camp. Um, it was very interesting because their attention span was so much shorter and they just didn't care about doing anything. So. I and we, because I, I was lucky enough for, because I had a, fr I would call him by now a friend uh, from the book uh, club, a teacher who volunteered to help out with the, with the library camp. And I came up with most of the tasks and programs that we did, but he came up with it a, a lot as well. And the kids did them, but within like 10 minutes, because they didn't, they they were not interested in doing anything in detail they were just like okay we got a task we have to do this we're gonna do it and then what's the next thing what's the next thing what what are we gonna do now and i'm like well <laughs> i mean you were supposed to do this for an hour and we're, we're done within 10 minutes so what am i supposed to do with you so that was interesting and they were not reading as much as the bunch for example a year from a, like a, a year uh, ago that was hard because even last year the kids from the get-go because it was a library camp even if it's an adventure camp or whatever they were there because they loved reading so almost all of them were sitting in in the children's uh, library section reading while we were waiting you know they just went they picked up books they were reading and reading and reading and they enjoyed that but this bunch they started reading i think in the middle of the at the yeah uh, uh, around from uh, the afternoon the wednesday afternoon which was very like surprising for me because i was counting on them being interested in reading so it, it it wasn't an easy experience, but they enjoyed it. They they walked away from the camp with a good experience, and I walked away from the camp being exhausted even more so. <laughs> but I knew that that's why I took two weeks off, because I made the mistake last year that I only took one week off or whatever and and went back to work. So it was just like that. Uh, the the other good thing that was before um, the library camp started was a fountain pen meeting. 
It's been a while that I could go. I think the last one was before that, uh, the Pelican Hub in September. There was one in December, but, uh, or November, I can't remember. November when I went to Manchester, so I wasn't there. And then there was another one where I couldn't attend for some reason, I can't remember. But it was so cool. There's so many people, so many new people who, you know, they know each other a lot more than I, they know me. So it's kind of like, it's a weird thing to be a new person for most of them, even though I was there the, at the very first Pelican meeting here, I think at the very first or the second. Um, and before COVID hit, we were doing monthly meetings and, you know, just like six of us or five of us. And now it's like 20 plus people. So it's really cool. But in a way, it's kind of sad for me, obviously not for them, that you know, I, I missed out on so many meetings with people, but you know, I'm trying, I'm doing my best to catch up. I really enjoyed meeting new people and, and I just love sitting there and, and talk about paper and pens and inks and, and, you know, like having the option to try out, uh, things that I, I haven't, uh, had the chance and catch up with people that I actually know for years now. So it's really cool. So that was on the 22nd which was um, a full moon as well. That was in, uh, yeah, that was a Capricorn full moon. So very much good for letting things go. But I had to leave a bit early because I was sick. So I went into the library camp uh, sick because obviously you get sick two days before you start your holiday. Murphy is my friend. But anyway, so I survived the month and The things are ended, like they canceled the bus that I take every day. The, the, the route was changed, so the bus is not going anywhere anymore, which makes me sad, honestly. Um, and then enough time, let's hope, enough time uh, has um, gone by that I'm feeling better about certain things and certain people but yeah I don't know I, there was a moment after I came home from the university entrance interview and I was just sitting down and I just instead of being excited because oh that's what I meant to say that the interview was you know they asked uh, things and then I, you the, the, eh, I did the interview part then you had to go out and then they talked amongst themselves and then you went in and then they tell, told, tell you, told you, they told you the, the points that you got. And I got the maximum points, which is awesome because I had to. Uh, but the way that the guy who I'm assuming is the chairman of the, you know, like the department, I'm just assuming because I never saw the image of it. Uh, he said that something along the lines, but I forget the, uh, the exact wording, even in Hungarian, that, uh, but it kind of meant something like that, we would like to welcome you, you know, like, as a, as, as, as someone who's going to attend to university from September, and I was like, <laughs> because if they raise the points too much, like, I, I have two extra points that I can get besides the interview points that I don't have enough. Uh, so I'm going to know that once they officially announce it, I think it's in July. I'm not going to check because I'm going to get a text message uh, with the information whether I was accepted or not. I'm going to get an email. That's going to be a whole bunch of shit. So I'm not stressing myself with it. I did what I could do. I went to Polite, did the interview the best that I that it was possible. If I'm not accepted, then it wasn't meant to be. So, you know, I'm, I'm just pretending it's not happening. But after I came home and I sat down, in, in, I think it was just in the evening, I just felt so empty because it kind of feels like I'm still in that limbo that I'm I was pushed into in last December and I'm trying to be okay with it. I think I'm more okay with it than I was. 
and I'm trying to be okay of not knowing, but it's very hard for me because I need that sense of security of having some direction, having some plans to work towards to even if, you know, they are not specific because I don't, I don't need to be uh, that specific about anything because I know life can change anything, but I still want to have a general direction of my life. And I think it's just connected to the purpose of my life. And I know some people said that it doesn't have to, you don't have to have one. And I know, and if you don't need one and you are feeling okay, then awesome. But I do. And I still don't have that. And I don't know what's the point of me existing. And I know it can sound very over dramatic and whatever, but I don't know. I, I don't know how to word it in a way that it's not um, a desperate, I need a purpose or I'm gonna just, it's not that feeling. It's just, there's a lot of things that are changing into a direction and not in my personal life, but in our country, the government is always up to something. Uh, that would be so much easier to just handle. I could handle it so much easier if I had a sense of purpose, that I had a sense of direction or aim at life. Because I think because I don't have that yet, and I might, you know, at the point where I can just sit down and do readings about it again, you know, communicate with myself again that way, that I can figure it out. Uh, that if, if I have that, you know, then it's easier to handle because I can say that, okay, but I'm enduring this because da, 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 da. without that, it kind of feels like another low blow, another thing that goes horrible and what's left. So I don't know. I just, I think I just need that sense of security that I don't have currently. I don't know. I, can, I don't know how to explain it and I don't expect it. Uh, I don't expect anyone, you know, coming into my life and stepping up and, and saving me in that way. Especially because I don't think I will have time to meet people or date, to be honest. In the next two years, I think I will be in survival mode. But I still need to figure out what I want to do with my life because being 40-something feels more at a crossroad than I felt when I was 18 or, you know, like before I got sick or after I got, got I started to recover. I kind of feels like this is the time that nobody talks about how lost you can feel when you're in your forties, even though, especially, I don't fucking feel 40, like 42, what the fuck is that number? <laughs> I don't feel that old because I should feel something. But I don't know. I think I just, I don't know how, what I associate with the age that I am on paper, but I don't feel it, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. I don't even know. It just shows that you never really know how you're going to feel until you're, you're dead point in your life ha. yeah no i'm getting very very wise so i should just shut up and you know like move on um i don't really have a lot else i mean i did uh five decks with ben which is really fun ben is back on youtube he wasn't he took a, a break or kind of sort of he went through uh, certain things as well which I think is very interesting, uh, you know, how people deal with their midlife and whatever life crisis, <laughs> not even mid, just life crisis in general. So if you want to watch that, I think that was uh, an interesting one. Uh, and I, I kind of feel validated in a way when people who know me a little, I mean, we, we, with Ben, we're not that close, obviously, but, you know, we're friendly, I would say. Um, and they pick decks for, uh, for me that 
you know, I know that I like that they they associate certain things with me that I, I want people to associate certain things with me, like dragons and uh, I don't even know what else uh, was there, but it's it's good because at least it shows that I can show, if not everything, but I can show enough for people to see me when they talk to me, when they interact with me, when they watch these videos. I try to be honest, I don't think I ever intentionally lied i probably omitted th things because sometimes it's not just about me sometimes i'm not ready to talk about certain things sometimes i talk too much i don't i'm thinking about unlisting certain videos from the past month or so because i don't want them to be there <laughs> i don't want to delete them because i i think it's important to keep a record of what happened and how i felt but maybe i'm gonna unlist uh like a certain this happened video and uh, an update because you don't need to watch that when you if you're not familiar with my life yet <laughs> but anyway i think it's it this is all i should i should really schedule those two videos and and film some more but i don't know i have dinosaurs on my bed because you know i have my nephew here and I love my new desk, but you can see that it's kind of shadowy here. So I don't know how I'm going to film videos around here. I still kept uh, this deck, the, other, the one that I used before, but in the long run, it's going to go and this, 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 this one is going to go there under the window. So I could film there for a while because I used uh, this shelf as a, as the, holder for my iPad when I was filming but I'm using the uh, slice of wood that I used um, for filming and for an altar on my altar space and actually altar space so <laughs> I need some setup a new setup and I was hoping to you know to use the deck but mm, it's too too dark here but anyway you don't care about it not my, really much i don't know why people watch these <laughs> i don't think this is interesting uh but yeah you can you, you can have a new view from for my room mm. oh okay let's let's let, 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 let me give you a, a tiny tour of what's on my wall because why not so uh, these are three dragon okay prints from the smoke ash and embers collection these are the postcards that i finally put there i this is an altar space kind of thing where i keep um motivational and extra cards and stuff like that uh, this was my space that i need to move stuff here like my uh, this is my astrological chart stuff these are my pencils i know very oof, so interesting you can even these are the two Harry Potter shelves. Clothes. Ta -da! Stuff that I don't have space anywhere else to store. There's a painting over there which I really like. I hate the frame, but I love the painting. My bed. The shelf. And two dragon lampion things. This is my room <laughs> from another angle. <laughs> if you would ever visit me, and please only do it if I invite you. <laughs> but if you're a friend of here, you know, you're always invited. Maybe not in the middle of the night because then you, I can't let you in because I'm gonna be sleeping, hopefully. <sighs> I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna stop. I know it makes no sense, but hey, I make no sense. This is me, and this is why you're watching. Which I love you for it, honestly. Thank you so much for watching and see you in some other videos. Bye! <laughs>